Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here on this Friday. Uh, it is May the 10th, 2024. What you say? Ha. Uh, yeah, I had a busy, busy day yesterday. And thus, here I am. Here I am. And I slept well, too, by the way. So I probably, I probably look like I need to go back to bed, but hey, I need to get up because I got things to do. I know this is, uh, I think this is another holiday weekend. We, you know, we get them, we get them um, quite often. These certain type holidays stand by. So, ah, make sure the face is, is clean, clean, clean. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You know, oh, boy. Uh, when I started doing these videos back in 2022, more specifically, April of 2022, um, I knew I was stepping into a lion's den, but I didn't know what was going on, per se, because I had stepped away, you know, because I was I was doing other things, and, you know, I stumbled upon things, and, you know, and it, and it goes from there, you know, a lion's den, uh, a dangerous or frightening place. Okay, so I didn't realize that's what I was I was entering into, but you know, hey, I like I'm curious. I'm a very curious person. I like to know what is going on, you know, because um, there are certain things about which are our birthrights, our birthrights, and it's to know what's going on and to know who we are, what we are, and why we are. Okay, that's fascinating to me, intriguing, and. Uh, and once I started, okay, I knew that this is what I needed to do. Uh, thankfully, I worked on myself very well during these uh, during these uh, fifty nine years. <laughs> more specifically, more so around thirty years of work and development of myself. Otherwise, I do not believe, and that's a belief. Belief means what? You know, that's a, an assumption that I would not be alive how about that uh there were a series of events that happened to me a belief a mental act condition or habit of placing trust or confidence in another hmm and then it says here uh a belief is a subjective attitude that a pre preposition is true or a state of affairs is the case you know, it's a subjective attitude. Okay. And subjective. Dependent on taking, depending, okay, it's dependent on or taking place in a person's mind rather than the external world. Subjective. So... An objective. Let's look that up while we're at it. Um, as I need, as need to make some clarifications so that I'm speaking clearly and effectively about my intentions. Okay, objective, existing, independent, or external to the mind, actual or real, based on observable, observable phenomenons. And it's uninfluenced by emotions and personal prejudice. So objective is, is synonymous with uh, or similar to fair. Is that is that true? I'm just going by what we have in these dictionaries online. Now, whether, the, whether these terms are true or not, it's kind of irrelevant because most of us have no idea what any of these words mean anyway. You know what I mean? When I say don't have any idea what it means, 
they don't have experiences with these 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 words that are just like everything else just thrown freely out and about all over the world you know and when i say uh and so a lot of a lot of these words you know of course and sadly have lost meaning because they were not questioned and not um evaluated to 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 see if they you know they coincide with the reality of what's really going on you know for me i want to know what's going on okay i do not want to be um known for anything other than that uh this uh this is not what i'm doing is not about my image okay it's not about what people uh, believe about me or know about me or think they know or assumptions not it's not it's not about none of that um, I know that there's always have been more things going on than I didn't was told always I always had that that in the back that knowing like I said you, we have knowings about ourselves and our personalities that we know when something's not right, when the math doesn't add up. And we start questioning. I was doing that as a young girl, questioning people. But, but my mom was there when I was doing all these questionings of people. It wasn't like I was, I had an arrogance about it or a chip on my shoulder. I had a, just a genuine curiosity about things because I kept finding contradictions in everything. And contradictions are there to to teach you and for something. They're, they're lessons. Contradictions are lessons, just like everything else is. And uh, so I so I'm gonna say this again. I know what I am doing now. I um, I still have, you know, what I'm doing is out of love, out of love, and not not to mention universal love all over the stars and moon and mountains. That's why I do what I do, okay? No other reason other than that, right? Of course, I like to impress people that I uh, have some, uh, what do you call it? Some interest, you know, I, you know, of course, we all like to show off for people sometimes and be clownish and, you know, attempting to be funny, you know, those kind of personal, uh, interpersonal, you know, carrying on, you know, saying crazy stuff. Um, I like who I am. I love who I am. I accept who I am. And in my videos, it ought to, I've said enough about it. I got plenty of videos out there and I hope to put out plenty more. Okay. Um, because I have an intention and purpose and it's not about getting rich. Okay. I just want to make that very clear and effective. It's about being able to provide for myself, however, and put food on the table and, and shelter me. And, you know, if I bring in a partner, you know, a love interest, okay, being able to provide for them, but at the same time, we're still whole people, meaning that we can stand on our own two feet or stand on our own feet if necessary. In other words, we're not dependent on one or the other. Okay, that creates a, a, a more, uh, more of a harmony in relationships to me especially if there's no kids involved now if there were kids involved that's a different situation um, I do not and plan I do not plan to deal with anyone's children's whether they are toddlers or adults okay I chose not to have children for a reason and the reason was um you know, it sits very well with me. You know, I couldn't imagine that I had brought kids into the world from what I know right now. Uh, I would be, you know, yeah, there would be s something different about my personality if I had. Okay, just, just put it, say, say that. So I don't do this for, to get rich or, or get rich schemes or, Ponzi schemes. There is no manipulation or deception in my uh, personality to consider such. Now, we've all had desperate thoughts, especially when it relates to our finances. 
especially with females, because we know that, okay, if it doesn't get done, if we don't do it, it doesn't get done. We know that. So something definitely happened to the development of this planet. And I said this in the 90s, middle 90s. And thus, you know, and as it goes further, you know, a lot more things are coming to light, coming to, you know. So, first of all, like I said, I know what I'm doing. Okay, I know what I'm doing. And I appreciate anyone attempting to understand it, but they may not understand it. And in most cha most cases, you do not understand what I'm doing right now. You don't. But I appreciate the love that I receive from people that genuinely, I, I can sense that some people genuinely care about me. And I appreciate that. Uh, can, uh, genuinely support me. I, I, I you know, I, I sense and receive that. But I know that there's more going on behind the scenes than, than I think most of us. I think most of the planet has no idea what's going on behind the scenes. And I'm not saying that I do as well, but all I'm saying is that I'm picking it up. I'm sensing and receiving it. You know, there's something spiritual within me that's doing that. And, the, and that part of me that's spiritual inside of me doing this is a birthright that all of us have. But it has atrophied. And it, it and it's and it's calcified, and it cannot be revived for some. Okay. Um, there's there there is devastation uh, upon this planet, and for so for so long, I just don't know for thousands of years millions of years possibly, there has always been this attempt to suppress our birthrights and for us to know the truth. And it, and it has happened to all of us from all walks of life, whether it doesn't matter about your gender, uh, your sexuality, your uh, biological, you know, what your biological attributes are, it, it, it's irrelevant, okay? I know what I'm doing because I know who I am speaking to, okay? I know who's listening to me. Let's be very clear and effective. Anything relating to these electronics can be manipulated, all right? I don't know why, we, why that's so difficult for all of us to understand. And so we're using faulty information to believe that we're coming to the truth about things, okay? Um, I, put, I, I threw out a word, and I've thrown it out before, fallacy, a fallacy, okay? What is a fallacy? Well, let's look it up. It says here, argument that uses faulty reasoning. Hmm, I can accept that, you know, I can accept that. Um... A fallacy is the use of an invalid or otherwise faulty reasoning in the construction of an argument that appeared to be well-reasoned if unnoticed. Appears to be well-reasoned if unnoticed. So, and fallacies may be committed intentionally to manipulate or persuade by deception unintentionally because of human limitations such as carelessness, cognitive or social bias or ignorance and is potentially due to the limitations of language and understanding of language. Okay? Fallacy. All right? I do everything in my power to give people the benefit of the doubt. I really do. You know, because it's really not, it's not about me, but I know that I have to protect me and uh, make sure I am protecting myself, defending myself, um, you know, loving myself. Regardless of what I understand and what I figure out about things, 
everything that's happening right now, I mean, not right now, but everything that I have started to discover since uh, 2022, it, it go, it's in alignment with what I have been told by certain people, what I have taught myself through self-education and how I have applied it and connected the dots and you know you know attempting to understand this puzzle of life that we're in and it's a maze our lives are a maze you know um, uh, let me make sure I'm using that right word you know where we are um, content, uh, attempting to construct our lives possibly and Again, so many words have lost value. And so a lot of people, you know, maze, M-A-Z-E. Yeah, exactly. That is, you know, when you, if you pull up images of it, because, you know, I'm a visual person. I like visual things, by the way. Um, yes, I have a strong auditory as well, but my preference is to see stuff. Visual, you know, have a visual of stuff so that I can incorporate it properly and make sure I'm making proper decisions, okay? And I know certain people are like that as well. I can tell. I mean, a lot of people are like that, actually. I mean, billions of people that you have you have to show them. Because what we have to do is people that are dominating our vision like that, we are attempting to recreate what the hell you're saying to us and make sure it adds up. Okay, and if it doesn't add up, then there's going to be a difference in our personality because we're trying to figure out, because we're just trying to figure out, okay, what some, something's like, sh is not making sense to us. And so it makes us a little um, anxious, possibly, or a little concerned, possibly, you know, our behavior is going to change. If we, so, for example, you know, just consider what if you can't hear? What are you going to do? You're going to overcompensate with the other sensing okay if you can't see you're going to overcompensate in other words you're going to be uh in certain areas of your life you're going to be uh keen on it you're going to be on it and paying attention and trying to figure out okay what what is going on because we we're looking for danger we're looking for concerns okay all right i, I put out plenty of videos on that and i know and i'm going to say something in a minute but yes our lives are a maze M A Z E, and um, you know, a maze can be fun. It can be, uh, uh, you know, it says here a maze is a path or collections of paths, typically from an entrant from a entrance to a goal. Okay, is a path or collection of paths, typically from an entrance to a goal. Yes. And that's the curiosity of life that I have, you know, because it challenges me, yes. It challenges our brains, entertain us, inspires us. You know, that's certain things I, I see about the word on, on, uh, on the internet here, our source of information, right? It's either source of information, dis disinformation, or a combination of such. But it requires thinking. Okay, it requires thinking. So I, 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 I'm saying enough about that, but, but I'm going to say this again. If you're non-thinking for you, you know, if you're non-thinking, meaning you're not thinking for yourself, you are creating a self-created earth-produced dementia. So, so. You, you, you you know you create we have created a because of our behaviors and actions and patterns we've created a uh, a separate dementia from the the, the one that's clinically um, used a lot and this particular dementia if we um, are paying attention to it it's a, it's a it's a it's a consequence Okay, there's one dementia that's, you know, they'll say clinical, but then there's another one, you know, we just, let's call it dementia, you know, modern dementia, 
is uh, is, uh, is possibly self-created. Well, I'm going to throw it out and say it is self-created. And it, and it is due to non-thinking. It's not thinking for yourself. And it's using uh, certain beliefs. I said this in the beginning. You have to suspend, suspend your beliefs. You have to. But you, there is free will. And let's go. Let's, let's talk about free will again. You know, everything has been commercialized, unfortunately. Our words have been commercialized. So every word has a price. Every word has a price. Free will is the capacity or ability to choose between different possible courses of action. Free will is closely linked to the concept of moral responsibility, praise, culpability, and other judgment, judgments which apply only to the action which apply only to actions that are freely chosen freely chosen okay so if you have a belief you're not uh, freely choosing anything if you have a belief keep that in mind or convictions or faith you're just you know almost like throwing it out into you know like having some a, a bag of flour or sugar and you're just throwing it out in hopes of making a cake with that you know you're throwing out the ingredients out in the, out into the world and you say okay that because I've done that that's going to bake me a cake so think for, uh, think uh, again on the figurative symbolically metaphorically level okay again I know who I'm talking to and I know who's listening to me. And again, these electronic devices that we frequent daily and hourly, I use them, these apps, um, have the capability of deception and manipulation. And so that's why I tell my genuine creative types, do not be concerned about who, li who is liking your videos or who are uh, following you. Trust me, if you have something uh, that's impactful, impactful and you are talking logically, rationally, and reasonably, people are listening. Okay? So, free will. Free will is closely linked to the concept of moral responsibility. Okay? And it says here, you know, it just has all kind of words and terms and stuff. But that, but like I said, it requires thinking. And I think a lot of people have determined. And when I say a lot of people, those are those are that are benefiting, actually benefiting from our non-thinking. They know that a lot of us are not reading books, and some of you have never read a book. Okay. You may have started out where your parents or guardians were reading books to you. And when you were in elementary school, you may have participated. But at a certain level during your puberty, game the game was over. The game was over. You were not about to do any of this. You already had de developed this degeneracy in your personality. You had already developed these type of... Uh, perversions in your young years puberty adolescence so you've have you've already developed these uh cryptic vile uh traits about yourself Nar you know narcissistic doesn't even touch the surface of what it is now you know narcissistic is just something we use but our behaviors um uh, have far evolved a pa past the, the current uh, label of narcissistic. Okay? All intentions, whether evil or non-evil, positive or negative, whatever, evolve as well. Okay? Our visions evolve. evolve. 
our hearing, our sense and receiving, which is spiritual, definitely evolves. And our sense and, re and receiving on the spiritual level, no one can touch, okay? Because it's part of your innermost being. So no one can touch it. So why not use it? It's there for a reason. These sensings of things that we have. So when I started with these videos, I'm going to make this very clear again. I'm going to have to keep repeating. <laughs> sure, I want to reach as many people as possible. Okay. Because like I said, this is a birthright. But at the same time, I understand what has happened as well to a lot of our consciousness. A lot of us have, a lot of us, and I, I like to put me in it, um, you know, because like I said, it's I, we, and us. We're all a part of this collective. Um, and so I see you and me, and I hope you see me and you, uh, especially for those that are righteous. You know, have empathy for me as I have empathy for you. Have compassion for you as I have compassion for myself. And, you know, and I do everything in my power to understand. That is where a lot of problems are developing for those of us that are righteous. It's about understanding what is really, really going on. And then on top of that, we're attempting to understand others I understand myself, so I can understand others very well. But if that person is attempting to hide that and mask who they are, what they are, and why they are, yes, that's going to be difficult for me to to unmask it, of course. And also, it's going to it's and it's not my responsibility anyway to necessarily be go around unmasking people. You know, we, we usually do that on our own. You know, when people get exposed, they expose themselves. They put the they put the cause out there. And therefore, they're going to get the effects, cause and effect. Reaping what you sow. The boomerang. The pendulum. Okay? So, I know what I'm doing. I know who's listening. Not necessarily, there's no evidence of it. Of course. I mean, come on. Of course not. Right? But at the same time, that's a good thing for what I'm doing in order to protect people because I care about people, okay? I know that I have support from all walks of life, all, in all levels of government, all levels of whether they are homeless or houseless or whatever we're saying now. Yeah, some of the biggest um, disappointments are happening in certain with with certain people who are under the belief because it is a belief that people care about them, that people are looking out for them. You know that people are because um, a lot of people are going out of their way to help the unhoused. Um, you know that has been plagued on our society since the 1930s, but somehow it got ramped up to where people are concerned about it within, I would say, less within the last five or ten years. More so, you know, more more um, at the forefront of our minds and concerns than has ever been, in my opinion. Okay? I've read a lot of books and and homelessness was not even discussed even though like I said it's been around since the 30s but everything else was everything else was programmed to us to believe otherwise okay um, what's that term don't believe your lying eyes you know it, it, it you know the smoke and mirrors work See, the damage has been done, and I keep saying that, but the damage has been done not only to the people that were targeted, but it's to the hands that fed it, okay? The hands that fed it are going to be targeted as well or, or suffer the consequences. No one is immune, okay? Lion eyes. 
you know, of course, it was a, it was a, um, a song, you know, and movies. Every, you know, like I say, everything's been taken over. You know, you know, it's, it turned out to be a good song. I'm not sure if I saw the music, uh, saw the uh, movie about it. You know. Mm -mm -mm. So. You can't hide from lion eyes. I mean, by the group uh, Eagle. I think it's the Eagles. Yeah. I used to love 90s rock. You know, along with uh, R&B. And what they used to call soul music. So it's a song about a woman who cheats on her husband with the Lord, uh, with the lover who has fiery eye, fiery eyes, fiery eyes. And dreams no one can steal. Wow. You know, and the thing is, is that, uh, you know, with creative type of people, you know, we had a, a great opportunity, you know, before something happened in the uh, in the 70s and in the 90s, where, you know, the, the creativity was flowing. I mean, the creativity was beautiful. You know, and it was coming from the 80s rock. You know, in the lyrics... As well as, of course, R&B and soul music was what they used to call it, soul music. It was coming from deep. That was deep creativity. It's not that sh this shallow stuff, you know, this shallow creativity that we have that's interfering with genuine interfer uh, it, genuine creativity, cre creative types and stealing right before your eyes. You know, so you can't hide behind your eyes I can see right through you okay so I know what I'm doing I'm gonna keep repeating that and um, I know that I'm I know that people that I know that there's a group that listens and so that's who I appeal to because you're listening because you know that something's going on but you know that you need to be putting food on the table for your family and yourself you know you need to be providing for yourself. You know what can happen to you. All you have to do is look at what has happened to other icons in the, in the past. When they had an instinct of something wasn't right. Something's going on here. And it was usually the company that they kept. But back, you know, in, in, in certain circles, you know, I mean, you know, you got, you, you know, again, I, I said, I said this. If I have trust, if I have trust issues, that's my responsibility. And whoever comes into my sphere, uh, are you know the participants are only teaching me and giving me experiences of trust. Okay. Um, now, when it comes to love, love is something something very profound, and and it doesn't matter. So let me, you know, an, an analogy of love. When I say this, universal love is, 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 is um, let, let's just, you know, there, there's very various uh, stages of love. And I put plenty of videos out about that as well, where it doesn't matter what people are doing outside of you. Even the people that you love, it's not going to affect your love for them. Not at all. Why would it? You know, just like having a child. You know, if I had a child and they were doing things, uh, would I stop loving them? And thankfully I had the, the modeling of parents who, despite everything they were going through, and it was difficult, they still loved each other and still were committed to each other, regardless of whether they got along sometimes. Sometimes they didn't. I'm telling you, sometimes they didn't. Sleeping in separate rooms, you know what I mean? So, I know what I'm doing. I'm not going to stop. It's not about finances to me, okay? As long as I'm able to provide for myself, and I know I will, I can get a job. I have several levels of uh, skills and abilities to get a job and provide for myself. And, and um, I would do that for a partner that I had or partner that I will that I will have I would I mean I would 
you know, if I had children, I would do, you know, do all that's necessary to put food on the table, just like my dad did. Okay, my dad was taking care of all, I mean, almost 10 people in the house, as well as some of his family members. Okay. All right. Hey. So, I'm going to come back and say something later. Um, I'm going to keep putting out the videos, okay? Uh, I'm going to focus on what I need to focus on. Uh, it is not, I mean, I know what I need to do, but I still like to get information, okay? I love hearing others' uh, advice, you know, that, uh, but it, this is something bigger. You know, it's something bigger. And so I put out, is is I put out the breadcrumbs, but let me just be very very honest with you. If I just come out and start, you know, I mean, which I'm doing that, but I have to be strategic in how I deliver things. Okay, anybody can come out and ramble like I'm doing. <laughs> anybody can do that. Uh, but I have some substance in what I'm saying and why I'm saying it because there's a bigger, bigger, bigger picture here, you know, than what meets the eye, than what you see in a cell phone or what you see wherever on videos. This is, some big, this is something bigger uh, and because, you know, we are, we are approaching catastrophes. We are approaching disasters, destructions, and not not one person on this planet can stop it because the collective failed. So I know what's going on. I know who's listening. And again, I appreciate the silent supporters of those of you that know what I am doing. And you could care less. You know that it's not about followers. Okay, because followers are informants usually or bots. They don't even exist. You know what I mean? Likes, they don't exist. But I do enjoy engaging with bots and AI and, you know, I, you know, I do. I enjoy that as well. But I know how to properly engage with human beings from all walks of life, from all income levels, okay? So I'm gonna come back later because I got some running around to do and I wanna talk more about the fallacy and how we really, really need to understand what it means to be reasonable and make sure we have reasonable uh, uh, documents and information before we go out with our ego claiming we've solved something or claiming we know something or claiming we are experts at something. Okay. A lot of people are not thinking. All they're doing is reacting and letting their ego lead the way. You know, they, you know nobody's paying them any attention otherwise. And nobody would. Okay, because some of you are grotesque. Okay, in appearance. Okay, I said it. No one will pay you any attention. You think you can flash, you know, a bit of cash, and it works. Because a lot of people, a lot of people are uh, thinking desperately, unable to pay their bills, and they're easily compromised. Okay, but again, I told you, if you are developed structurally sound in your consciousness, you can withstand everything that's going on around you. And, and perform okay I'm not going to be concerned about certain things that was brought to my attention I'm not I'm not concerned about it I'm not dismissing it but I'm not concerned about it uh, and that usually has to do with um, you know it's ego based anyway um, you know it's about um, um, you know grabbing attention you know and, and, and I'm just so shocked that a lot of people are believing these these so-called reports that come out about engagement. Okay. A lot of you, and I know this very well, um, 
have been, you know, what that was that term? Uh, you, you know, you, you've been bitten. Once bitten something, what is it called? You know, you, you've been, you've been on the verge of homelessness. And I, and, I don't, and I don't blame you for proceeding with caution. Yes, once bitten, twice shy. It says, it's a phrase, one is cautious in the future if he has been hurt in the past. I understand that 100%. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this right now. And um, I will be back later in today and talk about uh, you know, like I said, the term of fallacy and understanding how to be reasonable. Okay, and stop stepping all over each other to, to gain attention. You're making yourselves look like fools and you're causing more destruction and harm to yourself and more so to this planet. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains on this Friday, uh, May the 10th, 2024. And this is on a weekend of Mother's Day for a lot of people. Uh, as you guys know, I've said it, my, my parents died, uh, one in 2020, one in 2021. And I don't celebrate uh, their, you know, Mother's Day, but I, I have no problems with others that do. I do, once you lose your parents, you think about them every, every day. Their memories do not go away, okay? But what you have to work on is neutralizing those memories and see, you know, remember the the joy and enthusiasm about having, you know, parents, siblings, husbands, wives, you know, and, and know that their love never, ever goes away. Okay? Peace and love. And trust me, I'll be back.